how many people we have watching uh, just all set in one room. I don't know how many people Danny has over at uh, the Boca Negra Palace. Uh, but one of the things that, just so that those folks that are just joining us, there are a few that are just joining us, um, one of the things that we realized uh, that we were looking for were people that we wanted to work with. And Danny uh, came across our path uh, about two months ago. And one of the things we found out about Danny is that he was working with an organization that he founded called Buzzkill. So that's why uh, we're wearing these shirts called Buzzkill. And what he was doing with Buzzkill was he was trying to raise um, money to help fight malaria in Africa. And through our association with Danny, we started finding out a lot of facts. And we found out a couple of these facts. One is that a million people die a year uh, of malaria, and it's preventable. It's preventable by using these bed nets that Danny's trying to raise money for. He's trying to raise money by doing that $20 at a time, selling these t-shirts, these fantastic Buzzkill t-shirts. Uh, and it's, it's amazing that you see an industrious college kid come out here and do uh, what he's doing. Uh, he is a young entrepreneur, and he's about to uh, go to Africa in June. He did everything he could to uh, raise the money so that he can travel there, uh, so that all the money that he raises with the t-shirts goes directly to his funding of the, of the bed nets. That's, that's amazing in and of itself. What he's going to do when he comes back is he's going to start his own business. He's going to start that somewhere in July. And he's building a business that is basically a social, social entrepreneurial business. So that a part of his proceeds of his uh, ongoing business will also go and serve social causes. So Danny sort of represents to us what we believe our mission has been this week is to find people that work the go-giver um, uh, mentality, work with the go-giver mentality, and that they give back rather than always looking to get. And as a result, when you work that way, um, things happen to you in a very, very positive way. So I'm going to say thank you to Danny. We also want to say, um, help us, help, help us help, help us help Danny, help us help Danny, <laughs> but $20, uh, for one of these t-shirts. Um, and you can do that by, uh, sending your request to Dan at dan.bocanegra.com. It's B-O-C-A-N-E-G-R-A.com. Oh, excuse me, at gmail.com. Or you can send it to, uh, uh, the Go-Giver Tour and we'll be glad to get that information to you. And that's the thing is the Go Giver Tour. It starts with that concept of giving. I mean, you really, you know, I ask the people ask what the book is about, and really, you can get a good idea what the book is about just from the title in itself. So, um, what's really nice is this week we met some amazing people that that follow that same 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 mindset. They were inspired by this book. They're attracted by this book, and they really like the message of the Go Giver. And uh, if some of you were with us Friday or Thursday night for our broadcast, Bob Berg, the author of the book. The, the more time we spend with him and the more time we meet people that have known him for a long period of time, he lives that life. And that's a really amazing thing because sometimes people say one thing and do another. And that's a big thing about integrity. You know, that, and that's something else we talk about. You know, your integrity is very important. Do you say, or I guess, do you do what you say? Right. And do you follow through on what you say you're going to do? And that's a big thing uh, that Bob does and, and Bob shared with us this week. So, um, Moving forward, we have a, a few other people we'd like to bring in here. So what I'm going to do, we uh, obviously we barely have enough room for the the two of us. So I guess uh, we can bring the skinny boys in. Yeah, we're going to bring the skinny guys in. So what I'm going to do is Avalos. We're going to bring in uh, the Avalos, Avalos brothers. And what we tried to do is, um, for those of you that aren't completely um, up to date with the Go Giver Tour, is we started this tour with a group of. Uh, you know, for entrepreneurs, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to open this up to some other young entrepreneurs and give them an opportunity to experience something they wouldn't have been able to experience. This, um, this trip would have been a, a big chunk of money some of them couldn't afford. Um, the event itself they wouldn't have been able to afford. So we were able to put something together through corporate sponsorships, and we're going to share some of that information with you in a little bit. But we were able to put this whole trip together. Ford gave us the vehicles to come down. We had other people that stepped in and and sponsored us with some other money or some other situations so this trip was covered for these guys and they were having an opportunity to meet some amazing leaders they were had an opportunity to meet with uh, Bob Berg today in a lunch and so what I want to do is bring in the Avalos brothers so I think we have Ivan and Emmanuel nearby and uh, they're all decked out they're ready for their uh, their camera shot so uh, and what's really exciting about these guys is very often people go through their lives and eventually they say, okay, I want to do things different. I want to do things better. I want to give back. 
And these guys want to start giving before they even have to look back on their lives. So uh, I'm going to get out of the way and uh, let you guys meet the Avalos brothers. So uh, moving on out of the way. And I guess if we were in a real news situation, I'd have the chair with wheels. But I'm just going to get up and go. I bet you boys 